Hey guys, let's talk about natokinases benefits. Now I made a video recently about the side effects of natokinase and I'll link to that in the description. Uh, it was a popular video because it talks about some of the downsides, but also some of the feedback I got from viewers was, you know, it helped me with this, that, and the other thing. And so I wanted to really kind of dig into it and look at the evidence we have for natokinase. And I came away with four, maybe five, uh, basically disease states that there's evidence supporting its use. And there's some other ones that doesn't. I'll talk a little bit about that as well. Now, as, as you may be aware, natokinase essentially can go in and degrade or break down some of these fibrin clots, which is a natural process, but in some people that can become problematic. So we definitely have evidence that natokinase, it's, it's legit. It can go in and bust up clots, but what we need to see is can it actually benefit some disease states, and we do have good evidence. So the first benefit I wanna talk about is for blood pressure. Now the studies, and I'll include links to the studies in the description if you're interested in that, they gave these folks 2,000 units per day, or um, FUs, I had a viewer kind of make a joke about FUs on there, so I, I didn't use that, but 2,000 units a day of natokinase, they did see a very um, clinically significant decrease in both of those blood pressure numbers, the systolic and the diastolic blood pressure. So. Uh, we do appear to have pretty solid evidence that it can support decreasing blood pressure. The second benefit with good evidence is atherosclerosis, uh, which is basically, um, you know, the blocking and clogging of the arteries. Uh, it did show in the study that doing a daily intake, and actually it was interesting because they compared it to statins. Statins are our most popular class of medications as far as blocking cholesterol. Um, I don't want to get into the video as far as whether that's the right way to think about it. I don't think it is. Um, however, they compared it against statins and they found that natokinase taken daily, 6,000 units a day, uh, was able to manage the progression, uh, possibly better than statins, um, and helped all the lipid profiles and the people who took natokinase improve. Um, but the, the interesting thing is that it may help delay the progression or avoid the progression of that atherosclerosis better than statins. So we think that the mechanism of action may not be related to the lipid lowering effects of natokinase or statins. So there's something else going on and it may be that it's blocking inflammation a bit in those arteries, but the point being Solid evidence compared very well, maybe better than statins in that regard. Uh, the third benefit I want to talk about is in stroke. Um, now, what they did, in fairness, this was a animal. I believe it was a mouse or rat study. They essentially induced ischemic brain damage, so low oxygen environment basically gave them a stroke and then administered natokinase. They found that it did improve blood flow to the brain. Um, by blocking platelet formation and thrombus formation. So again, we're talking that clotting process. Um, again, animal study, so we're, we're kind of making a jump to say it can do the same in humans. We don't have that evidence yet, but it is promising. I do think it's a potential benefit if someone has had a stroke to give them natokinase uh, as soon as possible, okay? Another one is after surgery because people can get venous, what's called venous insufficiency. The, the walls and the veins can become thin. Uh, the valves don't work as well. So we can see these problems after surgery. And so what they did is they treated these folks after surgery. The first day after surgery gave them natokinase. Um, they did see improvements. In, in that, and the other nice thing, there weren't side effects or anybody not being able to tolerate it, which was really good. In the same study where they looked at venous insufficiency, we'll talk about the fifth benefit, and this is a very much a potential one, and I'll explain why here in a second, but they gave natokinase to folks who had a DVT or a deep vein thrombosis, those big clots that we worry about, where you can throw that clot. Um, and it, it did well. The only thing is that I want to point out, it was an add-on agent. These folks were 
already given a medication called Erixtra, which is fondupurinix. Um, so they added natokinase to that. So you can't really say that it was the natokinase benefiting these folks. It could have been the Erixtra, could have been the combination. We don't really know. However, the point being is that that may be an option if you have a DVT and you're being treated, you may be able to add that on. Obviously, you have to talk to your doctor about that because anytime you add natto, natto kinase to a medication that's going to act as a blood thinner, let's say um, you can experience side effects. So you do want to be careful about it. I wanted to put it in because I do think it's promising for that, not quite a proven benefit yet. So Again, let me know in the comments, guys, if you've taken natokinase for anything else. I've seen it. Uh, people saying natokinase can help with metabolism and, and gut health and a whole host of other things. And I haven't really seen the evidence for that, but I'd love to hear your experience. Um, please like the video. It helps in the al algorithm. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll include a link in the description. Make sure to go to my website, curtis-alexander.com. I have a free checklist for you of other natural therapies I personally use and recommend good options to drug and surgeries. Okay. So hope the video was helpful guys. See you in the next one. Thank you.